Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Hit Parade Big Box Series 6. Um, a lot of uh, nice autograph memorabilia here. Some cool stuff to add to your collection. I know you probably have a lot of cardboard in your collection, but why not add some of, some of this stuff too. Um, it's a random letter break. I guess they only made 50 cases. A lot of great stuff in here. And we're going by the first letter of their last name. So, for example, if it's Carl Anthony Towns, Carl Anthony's his first name. See how it's hyphenated? So, T for Carl Anthony Towns for Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Abdul Jabbar is his last name. We'll go by the first letter of their last name. Kareem's would go to A. I'm trying to think if there's any other, any other weird situations like that. Ichiro Suzuki, I think that's a, that's a good one here. Um, if it just says Ichiro, right? Because they usually, Hit Parade will put the names there. I think they usually put their full names in there. But Ichiro Suzuki would go to S. If it just says Ichiro, then it'll go to I. All right, I think... That that's it. I don't know. It should be pre pretty. It should be pretty self-explanatory. I think it'll it'll make sense. All right. Big thanks to this group here for filling this up. There are the letters right here. Let's go. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and letters. Full twelve times. Six and a six. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11 and 12th and final time. After 12, we got Bobby all the way down to Ryan. Six and a six, 12 times. For the letters, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12th and final time. After 12, we got T down to P. All right, Bobby with the letter T, Alan with A, Josh with G, Charles with J, Bobby with E, Peter with F, David with B, Victor with L, Brock with S, Jim with W, Adrian with H, Karen with R, Adrian with D, Stephen, uh, Y, V, I, N, O, Peter with M, Bobby with C, Charles with K, and Ryan with P. So let's, uh, I think we can get all this on the same page. Let's alphabetize by letter right here. And we're going to hit the pause button. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And then we'll have the break. Stick around. Be right back. All right. Welcome back, folks. No deals were done here. In break number two. Random letter break number two. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Remember, this is the, just want to double check, first letter of their last name. First letter of their last name. And since I don't think we have anything full filled up after this, so we can play... Some quick rounds of who am I? So here's the case right here. It's uh, case 40 out of 50. Let's see if I could show you that without unplugging the camera. There it is, 40 out of 50, big box, series six. And now let's open this case up. Feels like a this definitely feels like a full size helmet. All right, helmet. Something else kind of feels like a mini helmet. All right there. Not sure this could be a jersey. Maybe another jersey? That's four items. So usually there's five. And a photo. 
Right here. Anything else? Nothing else. All right, good luck. Now, usually, oh, those would be nice, Stephen K. Usually, you put the name of the player on on the inside here. Maybe it's on the other side. Oh, there it is. All right, who am I? Go to, go to Wikipedia. I'm a retired basketball player, a shooting guard, played in the NBA for 13 seasons in the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. Played college basketball for the University of Florida. Was a second round pick in 1988. Played for a lot of teams. Played for Spurs, Rockets, Sixers, Spurs again, Magic, Hornets, Kings, Sonics, Sixers, and Mavs. A two-time NBA champion. Um... In 94 and 95. So the, the Rockets teams, maybe? Rockets, Sixers teams? And was named Florida Mr. Basketball in 1984. In my career, averaged, averaged almost 13 points a game, 2.5 rebounds a game, 3.4 assists per game. Hmm. I have in my Wikipedia section, I've got a behavioral incidents section. Interesting. In February 1995, in a game in Portland, I ran into the stands punching a fan due to the fan heckling him, the crazy 90s. NBA suspended me for 10 games and fined me $20,000. Uh, that was February 95. In April 95, feigning a hamstring injury, faking a hamstring injury, he was given, I was given a leave of absence after the first game of the playoffs. I later admitted I was frustrated with not playing. The incident was hyped as me being disgruntled at the team's recent acquisition of Hall of Famer Clyde Drexler. Later that year, oh, this is all 1995, August 95, shortly after signing with Philadelphia, uh-oh, I was pulled over after I ran a red light and police found a bag of the hippie lettuce on the floor of the car. I pleaded no contest, appealed, lost the appeal, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and in 2000, the Sonics fined me, myself and Gary Payton for a locker room brawl that left two of their teammates who try to play peacemakers, left them hurt. Who am I? Wow. Not Sam Cassell. Let's see. Uh, oh, and I may as well strike down the letter. So, uh, always interesting when you have a behavioral incidents section in your Wikipedia page. This goes to this person here. <laughs> the devil, yeah, the devil's lettuce. That's right. It is. Any, anyone re recognize this player here? I remember Vernon Maxwell, two-time champ. And you got the JSA sticker. I think I dropped the JSA card. I have to admit, I do, I do not remember Vernon Maxwell. But that goes to the letter M. That'll be for Peter. Vernon Maxwell. Vernon Maxwell, Silver Hammer. Once again, Peter ended up with the letter M here in random letter break number two. Nice. <laughs> Mike says keep the tube and keep the hippie lettuce in here. It's a lot of hippie lettuce. Let's put that JSA card in there too.
All right. <laughs> is that right? Mike Tower saying you'd be, you may be surprised to know that Vernon Maxwell's nickname is Mad Max. Maybe not that surprised, considering locker room brawls with Gary Payton. All right, let's see what we have here. All right. All right, who am I? I'm a retired baseball player. How old? Am I? Oh, I'm still with us. I'm still alive. 84 years old. Nicknamed the Dominican Dandy. Right-handed pitcher in Major League Baseball. Had a uh, Hall of Famer inducted in the early 80s on the third ballot. 83.7% of the third ballot. Let's see, we have some career stats here. 243 wins to 142 losses. Uh, a 289 ERA, that's pretty good. Lifetime, under three. And 2,303 strikeouts. Played for three teams my entire career. Ten-time All-Star, NL wins leader, and MLB ERA leader. Pitched no-hitter. And uh, and had a crazy incident with, with a Dodgers player, John Roseboro. It was a big, big rivalry. I think took a bat to the, to the catcher's head. Which was which is pretty crazy. I think they ended up becoming friends later on. Yeah, after the after years of bitterness, Roseboro and it's Juan Marichal, Mike Tower and Ryan's got it. Roseboro and Juan Marichal became close friends in the nineteen eighties, getting together occasionally at old timers games, golf tournaments and charity events. So even even Dodgers and Giants can lay together like lions and lambs. So there there's his autograph right there. It's a custom jersey. So it doesn't have the official licensing, but they did get a nice number there. And that's another M for Peter. Who hasn't had a crazy incident with a Dodgers player? Alex Kirloff. There you go, Peter with another letter M. Old pitching legend Juan Marichal. He actually, Juan Marichal actually played with the Dodgers at the end of his career. All right, next one I think looks feels like another jersey. Oh, that other pal. Oh, there's the pouch. All right, next one. What do we have here? This looks like a, an officially licensed jersey. Maybe they typed the name in here. Oh. Okay. Who am I? I am an active basketball player. 6'2", 185, born in Akron, Ohio, currently 33 years old, first round pick, played for one team my entire career, three NBA championships, two NBA Most Valuable Player Award, a seven-time NBA All-Star, a four-time All-NBA First Team, a two-time NBA Scoring Champion, I was an NBA Steals Leader as well. Part of the 50, 40, 90 club. Gold medalist in the FIBA World Cup twice. An NCAA season scoring leader. I'm pretty good. Yeah, Ryan and Justin's got it right away. Went to Davidson. Drafted in 2009. First round, seventh pick overall. And it's Steph Curry. Nice, and it's his college gear. In fact, this is a this is his college jersey, and it's officially licensed. So it's got all the Under Armour stuff. It's got the retail tags on there. 
So it's worth pulling out and, and looking at. See, there's the Davids, Davidson. Get another another look at his autograph without the reflection of the bag right there. So that's very nice. Uh, that's for letter C, and that's going to be Bobby. All right, so Bobby, I'm actually gonna set this over here. I'll fold this up nicely at the end of the break. But that is for you. Great hit. All right, two more to go. We got a mini helmet. It feels like a mini helmet and a, and a full-size helmet. So it looks like we're gonna close out with two football names. Oh, and then we got the Fanatics card in there as well. All right, next. Who am I? Right. Active player. A uh, active wide receiver. Let's uh, should I make this a little more difficult? Six. I stand at six two, two hundred eight pounds. Play for one team my entire career. A PFWA All Rookie Team um, member. A Walter Payton Award winner. An NCAA Division One receiving yards leader. This might give it away. A two-time Big Sky. If you know your college conferences, a two-time Big Sky Offensive Player of the Year. A Jerry Rice Award winner. I have a career 362 receptions, 4,589 receiving yards, and 34 receiving touchdowns. I was drafted in 2017, third round, Big Sky College. Not Adam Thielen. I went to Davis High School in Yakima, Washington, which is where I was born. Went to college in Eastern Washington. 28 years old. There you go. Ryan's got it. Cooper Cup. It's a cool looking helmet right there too. There's his autograph. I like the I like the look of that helmet. There's the fanatic sticker on the bottom there, authentication sticker. Anything else in here? No. Cooper Cup, letter K, that goes to Charles with the letter K. Congrats. All right, and the final item feels like a full-size helmet unless, unless I'm wrong. Okay, it is a full-size helmet. Let's see if I could find the name of the player here somewhere. Oh, there it is. All right. Who is this player? Let's, let's learn about this, this player here. Um, I am a college football quarterback. I've been the starting quarterback for this team since my true freshman season. I have, uh, according to Wikipedia, I have set multiple school records, including the most touchdown passes in school history, with 90. 
as of week 11 of, of this season. And the most touchdown pass in a single season with 38 in my breakout freshman campaign. I'm widely considered the greatest quarterback to ever play at this university. I'm a junior now. 6'1", 220, QB, was a 2019 Military Bowl MVP. Was a second team all ACC, that might give it away. Third team all ACC, an ACC Rookie of the Year, ACC Offensive Rookie of the Year, USA Today Freshman All-American. And was born in Waynesville, North Carolina. And later attended and played high school football at Sun Valley High School in Monroe, North Carolina. Right through for over 1,300 yards and 145 touchdowns, while rushing for over 3,600 yards and 60 rushing touchdowns. After highly publicized recruitment, I committed to, I think Justin's got it, I committed to the University of North Carolina on early signing day for 2019, flipping my commitment from Florida State University, my original choice. Yep, it's Sam Howell. What is it? I mean, I don't watch too much college football. Is is he going to be drafted pretty high in the NFL? This is a cool looking helmet. Look at this. There's the Beckett card right there. Letter H. That's for Adrian Lambros. There you go, Adrian. Letter H, Sam Howell. What's his, what's his future projection? That's awesome. I especially like that sort of, what, what do you want to call this? This is Argyle pattern in the middle? Nice. And once again, that's for Adrian with the letter H, Sam Howell. Thanks, everybody, for getting in on the action. Appreciate it. Justin is saying he was a top QB prospect at the beginning of the season, but it's tanked since then. All right, well, hopefully he'll, he'll get things going again by the end of the season. And I don't know, he'll probably play a senior year, I guess. And maybe if he has a great game there. I don't know. Great year there. Could be some great future value here. Or future value now for some big North Carolina football fan. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for getting into Random Letter 2, Hit Parade, Big Box. I appreciate everybody getting in. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.